Greetings everyone. My name is Chavi Sahai. I work as an assistant professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. The topic that we are going to cover in today's lecture is cost analysis. This comes under the subject managerial economics. Learning objective for this session are that we will learn about what is cost? What does it exactly mean in economic terms? And also we will learn about the meaning of two types of cost, which is real cost and opportunity cost. So first we try and understand what is the meaning of cost. When we are talking in the sense of managerial economics, the cost is always seen from the producer or the firm in case of hotel management, if you are talking about from the hotel's point of view, what do we mean? For producing a product and because we all belong to the service industry, so either for producing a product or a service, a firm, a hotel, a company has to employ various factors of production, which are just to name a few land, which is one of the major components, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship here means the person who's running the business, who started the business, his expertise. He invests that and it is also a factor of production. All these factors, we have to pay them some amount of money. They have to be compensated. Whatever compensation is paid to these factors of production is termed as cost. And so we can conclude that cost is defined as an aggregate price. Aggregate means a sum total, which is paid for the factors of production, which are being used to produce a commodity or a service. I like to give you an example, like if there's a service of laundry that is being offered to the guest. So there is some amount of labor involved, the people who do the laundry, then there are valets involved who bring down the laundry, they process it, they make sure it is delivered to the room. And there are some amounts of uh, detergents, etc., that are being used to process the laundry, electricity in running the machines, which we use to process the laundry. So all that will be termed as the cost for that particular service that we are providing the guest. Moving ahead, now we see what do we mean by the real cost or the actual cost. So when we are exerting some amount of labor in producing a product, there's also some amount of sacrifice involved. Sacrifice in the sense because we have very limited resources to you know, uh, employ them for producing something and we use that resource to produce a particular product not the other product. So we are abstaining from present consumption and we are using that resource, not spending it on ourselves for our luxury, but we are spending it on producing something. We are using that money as capital. So all that contributes to the real cost. The real cost of production also takes into account the physical things that we put in producing something. For example, if we are producing a piece of furniture, then wood, nails, varnish, whatever you are using to produce that piece of furniture will contribute to the real cost of that product. It also signifies the total productive resources which are being used in production of a commodity. The time of the person who's producing it. He is not spending time you know, entertaining himself rather than he's spending his time in producing that quantity. So that also contributes towards the cost. Real cost when we are talking about, it also involves if we are producing something that is impacting the environment. If we are cutting down trees to produce a piece of furniture, it also has a cost towards the environment. So when all these things are taken into account, all that put together becomes the real cost of production of a commodity. The environmental impact, the physical things that we are using in producing the product and 
resources because we have less number of resources we are using it for one particular commodity we are not using it for all others so all these various things when we see it in a real picture it becomes the real cost and that is why its exact measurement is not possible because how do you give cost to the amount of sacrifice somebody is putting in for producing something and for producing something in terms of money you cannot calculate the environmental impact it has so real cost is not easy to calculate and it is kind of impossible to cal calculate the real cost of a product next we discuss the opportunity cost when we say opportunity cost it means the benefits foregone or something an opportunity of something when it is lost of some other thing by not using that particular resource in its best alternative used i'll try and explain it in a simple language if you have some one particular resource which you can say if you have some amount of capital you can as an entrepreneur use it for producing a product a and you can use that same amount of capital for producing a product b so if you go ahead and choose the product a you are letting go the opportunity of producing the product b you may have your different considerations why you are choosing product a and not product b but because you are letting that opportunity go you are sacrificing some amount of resources towards that maybe you could have earned more profit in producing b but you are going ahead and producing the product a so when you are letting some benefit go that cost is known as opportunity cost this concept of opportunity cost is based on the scarcity and versatility definition of economics because resources are limited if you remember the definition given by lionel robbins of economics which says that we have limited resources and the way we can employ them the wants that we have for those resources are unlimited so all the resources have alternative applicability or everything has multiple uses so these products are to be used in for a particular producing something that we wish to go ahead with and we abstain from producing the other product we are letting one opportunity go if i give you an example if you have 100 kgs of steel and you can use that amount of steel either to produce a one car or you can use that same amount of steel to produce six scooters so the price of one car is roughly equal to the price of six scooters why because you are letting the opportunity of producing six scooters go by instead you are producing one car so how much it is costing you is the same thing either you can produce six scooters or you can produce one car that is why there is a difference between the price of a scooter and a car in reality also because you are letting go the opportunity of producing six scooters that is why the price of the car is roughly six times more this is just a fictitious example that i'm using to explain so we have a choice of using one particular resource here if we stick with the example 100 kg of steel for producing a particular product amongst all the alternatives the second use in that case will be six scooters we are sacrificing to employ the resource 100 kg steel for the first choice this which is the car in that case this is because that same resource cannot be employed for two uses you cannot use that 100 kg of steel for producing the car as well as the scooter you have to make a choice you have to let one opportunity go that is why this type of cost is termed as opportunity cost the employment of factors which are used in producing a commodity there's always a loss of opportunity that same example 100 kg of steel you can use either for car or for the scooter 
so when you let one opportunity go instead of using that resource you term that cost as opportunity cost another example will be when a person is employed for a job here i'm using an example of a college professor say an economics professor he is drawing a salary of 20000 working at a bank but if the college wants to employ that person to teach in the college they also have to pay him minimum 20000 rupees so that he works with the college instead of a bank because he that professor is letting go of the opportunity of working in a bank so the price or the cost that the college has to pay that professor is the opportunity cost for having him employed here so 20000 rupees has to be paid to him so now we've covered two topics today that is real cost and opportunity cost i would like to thank you all for listening in please attempt the quiz that the link for the same is provided in the description box i would also like to give credit to the following sites i have used these sites to source material for my presentation thank you everyone